Uh, hi, fans of high quality entertainment. We were not talking about sports, were we, no, Glenn we and Brian? No, no, we do that. Not There's no we sports can. on the Canadian Stud Muffin channel. No. Um, and by the way, uh, Glenn, except Lin Larry's a synchronized swimmer. We don't <laughs> yes. <know. laughs> uh, tell tell the uh, little video you just did. Uh, are you and gonna, I did are you gonna premiere it, Larry. Are you going to premiere it on the live chat here if I talk about it first? I, I don't know how you do that. Invite? invite? Please check no. Your so uh, our good friend, everybody's friend, Sam St. John, we love him dearly. He just reached a 1,000 subs yesterday. Uh, a big thank you to Rachel, yep. Rachel's ghost, for helping get him over the top. We, we appreciate your help there, Rachel. And um, anyway, so uh, our other good friend, Steve, from All the Worlds of Stage, he put up a video this morning, kind of parody video on Sam reaching a thousand and did this whole like a five minute thing. It's really funny. Check out all the world's a stage video on Sam. And he rebranded his channel. <laughs> he want Sam to call the channel Sam St. John in the hair salon. So <laughs> it inspired me to go, well, we need a theme song. So I uh, wrote and recorded this song in about four minutes. So, uh, I think Larry's going to play it now. Maybe I don't know. Well, I don't do know. Um, can you do that? Pre I, I think I can. I don't know. I've never done. Just talk for another minute, and I'll get the okay the link. Yeah. So again. Uh, we're going to see if if we can play it here. If not, you can go to my channel and watch it once the chat is yeah. over. Don't 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 leave the chat. Don't leave the chat. No, stay here. <laughs> stay here. It's all about me. If the video will be there when you're done. It'll be fine. It's not going. Everybody, anywhere. just calm down. Yeah. Okay. Present. Let's we'll stampede out now. Now you're being trampled. Okay, so share screen. Is that it? I don't know if you can do it or not. If you can't do it, then uh, I don't know whether you can. I think there's something weird about that. Share screen. So what else is going on, Brian? Anything exciting? I don't know. Anything well, else? our 1974 video released today at noon. Uh, for top five movies, so people can check that out for sure. And we're filming, we pushed it till tomorrow night. We're going to film our, our top 10 Clint Eastwood directing movies to, oh, till tomorrow yeah. night. We've got Doc had something going yeah. on and one to work around. And then that's our last video until the beginning of the year because everybody has so many conflicts. It's it's tough. And I don't ever want to ask people to you know not do things with family. That's not, this is all for fun. Yeah. It's made now. Family do you find more important. people get attracted to your music videos or mu movie videos? Uh, yeah, mostly we've just been doing movies lately. I think yeah. the guys, we all took a break from music for a little while, I think, yeah. because we did so many. I think when we did those videos for a while, it was like a year and a half of our time. Yeah. And we just wanted a break, you know, from from music. Not that we, I stopped listening. I just find yeah. another way to, to make music part of my, my life, you know? Yeah. Are you, you still never like want it to be you never want this to be like a a vocation? I never wanted it to be that way. I yeah. always wanted it to yeah. be just for fun. So yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, for for your video, Glenn, it, it's best if people just go to your channel and watch okay. it and they right. leave a comment. Yeah. But like I said, I have it pinned. And then when we're done this, I'll I'll have a link for it and everything. So okay. people will check All it right. out. Yeah. Good. We'll do that. But yeah, I can teach you, you and for your your latest 1974 video, I'll have a I'll mention that too in the oh. in the comment. I um, absolutely I I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, look who showed up in the chat. It's Getty Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Hey, his That's best cool. song is still today. Take off with the McKenzie brothers. <laughs> he mentioned, <laughs> he mentioned it in the in the book. You know, the Excellent. Beginning. How are you enjoying the book, Larry? Don't give too it, much away. Well, I'm just going through, you know, okay. the way I am with the book, but it's it's really good. Like, yeah, and, and there's a lot of pictures, of course, and it's a lot of reading. So, well, Getty and I are the same age and grew up not really that far from each other at exactly the same time, going to the same type of concerts and stuff like that. So I'm really interested in reading about his early life because I yeah. probably uh, I probably. probably uh, see a lot of myself in there i'm hoping so where do you remember what club you saw rush in uh well he, they mentioned the gas works. the gas works they yeah. played uh i think there was a club called abbey road uh there was a bunch of clubs you could tons of them uh the penthouse uh freaking 
a, a million of them. So yeah. was I mean, wh- how early in the career did you see them, Glenn? Seventy when they first started, like started playing bars. Seventy seventy well, one, when did seventy two. Uh, They're eligible in seventy four. So well, I mean, they started in seventy four, right? So because I was looking at when they were eligible for the Hall of Fame. Yeah. So right. I turned 18 in 71. That's what the drinking age in Ontario was 71 then. So anytime after that, when I would have seen them, 72, 73, yeah. 74, something like that. So. Yeah. Wow. That's really early. How they sound <laughs> early in their, in their, thing? Um, good. It was just, it was more, it was really loud and heavy rock. I mean, but they were playing, uh, you know, like cover tunes and stuff like that too. Right. Like it was, could, right. could you imagine if back, you could go back in time and take video or, even pictures of a- you know what the problem is i always say even like having seen all the great concerts i saw hendrix and all that stuff but when you're in the moment of it you don't think to yourself oh like rush is going to be one of the greatest bands in the world so i got to remember this like yeah you know, yeah, you know, this yeah. Is a bar band right it's like going to see you know anybody you you playing in a bar right it, it, who cares really there's no insane yeah. seeing hendrix you're going okay well i'll see him now i'll see him next year when he comes back and then he dies yeah and then it's like you know what i mean and then you go oh man that was that turned out to be a big deal. <laughs> yeah. So this, but at the time you don't think about it like that. Same with the Beatles yeah. when they came here three years in a row. I could have gone to a one of the concerts, but thought, oh, well, look, they were here in '64. They're here in '65. They're here in '66. They'll be here in '67. You didn't know what their thought process yeah. was that they were going to quit. And, you know. Yeah, they were going to quit. You know, touring. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah, that's the, yeah. everything was focused on the albums at that point. Yeah, here we go. Here, so Colonial yeah. Tavern. Yeah. Yep. Colonial Tavern. I saw Roy Buchanan at the Colonial Tavern. I saw uh, Buddy Guy at the Colonial Tavern. I saw Roy Gall- Rory Gallagher at the Colonial Tavern. Great car. Wow. See, I've never seen a band like that that later on became huge. I've seen plenty of bands that were like smaller ones, like Kicks. Remember that? Cinderella I saw early. Yeah. in the you know, Bands that turned out okay, you know what I mean? But in the grand scheme of things, weren't like you know, mega stars like, like someone like Rush would be. I mean, they're just, you know, well, Bob, at the penthouse. That's crazy. In Scarborough. Hey, hey, Bob, uh, you know, Janet Sampson. I, I think he was saying something about, he had a connection with the, the poppers and oh, the Pop, Lee yeah. has a picture of the, the poppers bassist. I guess that was one of his early influences. Mm-hmm. So there's a picture of the poppers bassist. The poppers were a great band. Oh, wow. Okay. And and somewhat they ended up being managed, I think, by Albert Grossman. And they play, they opened for Jefferson Airplane at one point in in New York, which was a big gig for them. And they also played at Monterey, I think, in '67. Where where was house was in Scarborough, East East End, like uh, the Rouge Valley, they call it. Yeah, the audio book I heard that'd be interesting. I'd like to hear them. See, I'm quite interested in his his family's history with the yeah. Holocaust and everything. I mean, that's that's moving stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's why I liked uh, <laughs> uh, Bill Graham, the promoter, big famous promoter. His autobiography is fantastic because he grew up in Nazi Germany, and they had no. to sneak him out of there, and then he went to Europe, and then it gradually immigrated to the U.S. But that whole story, the early years, is just so amazing to hear these stories. Saw the white stripes in the club. Yeah. Wow. Broke big. Hey, Trevor. Hmm. It's Dan. It's Dan. Okay. My manager was Chuck Beal, their lead player. Cool. Oh, okay. Wow. Very cool. <laughs> yes. Glenn has mentioned yeah. the start of the book. <laughs> yeah. Except, yeah, he doesn't remember when I would we would yeah. walk in and go, oh fuck, Rush. Like, like, yeah, yeah there, there was some guy in the back of the club that just kept running his mouth. <laughs> Let's, go go see a a Let's go see a good band tonight. <laughs> but you know, they're, they're the kind of band, you know, they struggled for quite a few years, right? And yeah. like it wasn't just instant success with them. Happy Monday. Yes. Glenn, John, Glenn. Hey, Sam, have you watched your, your, your theme song video yet on my channel? There's a link for it in the pinned comment on this chat. Anybody can leave, leave here and go watch it. It's only like a minute long and then come back. But make sure you leave a comment. 
if you do on, on Glenn's uh, video. Let's see how many people have watched it. Right. I like Sam's logo, though. It's really interesting. Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah. He, that's he, good. He left, he left a comment. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> It's my own strawberry fields. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet potato field forever. <laughs> Larry, let's talk about our oh, let's talk about our latest CD or album exchange. Review. You know what? I was watch. I I I can't help but I I kept rewatching when Marsha was reading. The Dawes album, right? <laughs> I <get to> it. <laughs> and at one point, you put down your hat over your eyes. And <laughs> she, yeah, I've watched it. I, I've watched a few, yeah, a few of these now, and I'm like, uh, she recommended Candy O. Did anybody take? Did it take? I her did. Up on that? Yeah. Did you yeah. look at it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's actually an album of the cars I haven't run yet. I just, yeah. you know, I've only listened to Heartbeat City and, and of course, yeah. their debut, which is, I think. Like she said, it's her greatest hits. Essentially, yeah. it changed the graphics on it. So, Marsha uh, went on my video and gave me a ten out of ten on my song. <laughs> In other words, if, if I come on this, Larry, and I recommend stuff like "Godspeed You," "New Emperor," I, oh, people, yeah. might, I mean, people might pass on that. Yeah, right? Yeah, don't give that up to Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or or even okay computer. I mean, you might want to, yeah. we might throw it that way, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm dedicating stupid computer spells. Glenn is Glenn. Oh, there's somebody leaving to watch the video. Oh, there there's, you go. Make sure you thumbs it up. Okay, I don't know about Ernest. Talk fans here, Glenn. What did you do? I mean, Ernest has got. Two strikes against him. Now he was late <laughs> getting here. And now he's leaving. And yeah, back. Right. you better come back. Yeah, one more strike, Ernest. That's it. You got one more shot. So, so yeah, I just posted today on my channel our album review and rating, and so I hope everybody does check it out at some point. Thank you, and and then in the next day or two, I'm posting the next CD, the the album exchanges that we already recorded. There are some good ones in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just uh, told me, yeah, he's, Alex is uh, just going, oh, I'm just, he's kind of dumbstruck on the, on some of the reviews that people are panning certain things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody has different tastes. It's really. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You know. That's what makes it really challenging on, uh, when you're trying to for like four people and you can't appeal to everyone, like you go, okay, no. I'm going to show this album. You know, somebody's right before you even show it, you know, there's people who are not going to like that kind of music or. Really yeah, I know. I, I, even when, even when we did it, it was, it was difficult. I mean, I, I, there was hit or miss a lot of ones I'm going, yeah, I I like, but I like throwing those really odd obscure ones out there yeah. because I just wanted to, for it to be talked about. Yeah. Even the negative portions, I wanted them to be talked about. You know, so that people, other people may want to check them out, even if there was negative reviews from people. You know, I, I introduced one yesterday. Do you know? Do you know what Kareen Bailey Ray? No. Oh, she's a. I think she's from Britain. She's she's. I think she starts making albums when she's in her twenties. She's in her forties now. She's got an album that was on everybody's uh, best of list this year called Black Rainbows. And I, I Bailey Kareen Bailey Ray R A E. Okay. And. Uh, the album's called Black Rainbows, and I I really think it's an amazing album. There's a couple of songs on there that, I, that I'm going, whoa, I don't know about that one, but like overall, I think it's just a brilliant album. What kind of music? Um, I would say it's everything from like heavy, like angry rock to an Amy Winehouse feel to a jazzy thing to a kind of an R and B <laughs> thing to this okay. singer songwriter thing. It's all it's very schizophrenic, but it, every song is like really well done. I'll check it out. Yeah. Why not? Victor says good song, Glenn. Ooh, 1969. Yep. Wow. Thanks I saw that 69. Wow. Void in 69 would have been something. Sid Barrett would have been there. 69. What album would have been out, Glenn? Do you know off the top of your head? 
Saucer. Seven was Piper. Piper. Then they had Amagama, right? So then, you know, it, right. 69. No, Metal came out in 70. So uh, I bet you it's like obscured by, oh, what's, what album came after Piper? What was the second album? Pink I Floyd. thought it was, I thought honestly it was Amagama. I, but I, I no. Uh, the, the second album? Second yeah. album? No. Um, it's their second album. A saucer? No. Yeah, maybe. So, I, I, I said that at the beginning. I said saucer. saucer full of secrets, been, yeah. I bet you that's what they would have been doing. Okay. Yeah. That would have been incredible. One of my favorite Floyd albums. Catch up with the E's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That seems. <laughs> I gotta. Yeah. It's, I gotta watch it again. Put too, your records it? on. Focus that. I was an extra in a movie called Black Rainbow. Wow. Wow. You know, right. who I, was, I was an extra in a movie too, an Academy Award winning movie, Network. Really? Yeah. I was in college at the time and they asked us to come down to the studio where they were filming all the new scenes with uh, Peter Finch. You're mad as hell. And yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we were watching. I've never yeah. seen a more intense behind the scenes. He was so intense. And then he died of a heart attack after yeah. that. But when the camera wasn't rolling, because the camera rolls for two minutes and then they stop for two hours and do right. Nothing. And uh, the two hours that he was walking back and forth, just going, oh, building himself up to do these scenes. And no wonder he had a heart attack. Like I've, I've never seen anybody. I imagine what he put his body through to do this. Yeah. Things. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, what you dudes got against T Rex? I have nothing against T Rex. I like I, nothing. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> but I don't do I'm not a Trex that. fan, but T Rex no. is good. <laughs> no, I, I I don't think we've ever cut up T Rex. No. We? Uh yeah. Uh actually uh Ween Ween does a T Rex uh homage on one of their albums. I think Larry, you've listened to it by now, right? I told you to listen to that album, right? No, no, I haven't li listened yeah. to any other albums. If, I, if I, I like yeah, yeah. I want to buy them, right? Instead of just right. listening to them online. Who's Ween? What's this band? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a huge fan, Glenn. Oh. I, just, I won't talk about them long. That's okay. Let's talk <laughs> sports. <laughs> yeah, Green Slade. I think they're connected with the uh, Coliseum. Oh, were they? Yeah. Some of the same band members? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Saucer. Yeah. Saucer full of secrets. Saucer. Okay, Sam. Good, good. And then I more soundtrack. Know, uh, yeah, I've got more soundtrack. channel in particular, but have you ever seen any of these movie or music channels? And the guy's saying he's going to review something, and he goes on. He, he comes up with words that I don't even know existed in the English language, and they go on for 20 minutes describing an element. I don't understand a word they freaking said. They're so deep. It's like reading War and Peace, trying to get out. And I go, what the hell? Like, I'm, And in the end, you don't even realize, you don't even know what their actual opinion of the album is. No. They, they exactly. probably don't know. There's a few of those guys yeah. out there. Yeah, there is. I mean, it, it irritates me. I essentially, I want to hear what if they honestly enjoyed the album. Yeah. And most of the time, I, you know what? I I just say <laughs> it's a great album. That's yeah. it. Just talk like a human being, for God's sakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you know, man they needs another the story, and man. they start like throwing big words in there, and you're like, whatever, man. Oh. We get it. You're verbose. Yeah. Exactly. We got it, huh? You're. <laughs> You 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 use much big word. <laughs> All right. That's funny. Sam was an extra on Borat. I was an extra in Borat. Oh, that's funny. That's awesome, Sam. Yeah. Yeah, he played Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Is that right? Sam, was that you, man? Were you your body double for Rudy? <laughs> Ooh, toy soldiers. That's just kidding. I like Glenn. Oh, well, I didn't hear what he said. I didn't see his first comment. I don't know. I was about seven or eight. About seven or eight. Uh, uh, still, I mean, Rudy's a short guy. You could have passed off. <laughs> oh, it had moved on by then. Oh, in 69. I also saw Bowie the same year as mine at for Bowie. Wow. That's great, man. Soundtrack you, more came you know, out. you grew up in the right area like mazzy in san francisco and yeah. our friend roy who's always does our chats on wednesday nights i mean he saw everybody back in the day and in london and man oh sam really was the oh he wasn't wow 
Yeah, he said he was in fifth grade, though. <laughs> Let's not Mozart live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had to pay 50 cents to park uh, my dinosaur. That's awesome. Yeah. Dinosaur was it, parking. Was, was it the Uncline Night Music uh, tour there, Glenn? Yeah. Dinosaur <laughs> parking was a dollar. It was really bad. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Glenn, we know how much you love Lou and Ween, but can you take a break from talking about them? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Hey, that's a always, good band. He always brings them up. I don't know why. A new band, Lou Ween. <laughs> yeah. Lou. No sport. No, we don't want to talk about that. No, I guess tomorrow. we're skipping we're, that. We're, yeah. Yeah. Still, uh, we're still crying. Yeah, there. they're just trying to impress people with their intelligence, and it doesn't impress me. Yeah, yeah. I could see some of their albums needing remixed, like in through the outdoor, because Robert Plant's vocals are so buried on that album. I would like to see Jimmy Page give those master tapes to someone else and stay away from it and see what they could do. What was the what was the change from the production standpoint? Did you guys ever notice that in Led Zeppelin? Did they just get a high priced producer who just buried it in production? No, nope, it was all. I think it was all Jimmy. Jimmy. Page. It was it was Page and it was Page himself. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And Jimmy did all the re the the reissues too, so or was involved with them. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Some artists are just they're terrible, and they need to be told that they need to stay away from the studio portion of it. You know, like Metallica when Metallica did the Injustice for All album, it was them in the in the you know for the most part, and it was a bad idea. They just weren't. They're not any good at it. So. Yeah. Stay away from doing it. I can't even pronounce that. Sesqua pedal pedal land. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never remember that. No. I was in the rodeo scene shortly after it was filmed. They threw up in my cowboy hat that I had and slept in the van until the rest of my family finished the rodeo. <laughs> Great memory, <laughs> nice. Rare record collector. I really like Ween. White Pepper is their That's best good record. Yeah. I was just told I can't talk about Ween anymore. <laughs> How come you guys are allowed? Because we're special. <laughs> it's Steve from All the Worlds A Stage. Steve, did you watch, watch my theme song? My response to inspired by your video. I want to. I gotta check out Steve's video now, though. Oh, it's I, really I, good. Steve's I gotta watch his and then yeah. watch yours. Yeah, I mean, watch it first. This is awesome. Very How cool. is your cat, Larry? My cat Middens is right there, taking a break, having a tough life. Yeah, How old are Middens now, Larry? Uh, she'd be, I think, close to eleven. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've got you know, a. I've, what's the lifespan of a cat? Uh, uh, an indoor cat is up to like 15 16 17 18 years 20 years yeah. wow I, my uh one of my competitors he uh for tennis he had a cat and it's still alive it's like 18 years old wow and, and when i first saw him you know he was talking about him and stuff and i was like I, and i said so and so i was joking i was like what did you do you bury it in a pet cemetery or something how come this thing is still alive <laughs> and he didn't think it was very funny and i'm like i'm sorry i <laughs> But hip, hippo, pata, whatever he pata, said, pata monstros e yeah. equipedalian. Okay, I'm okay. with the project <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Put your hand out, Sam, so you can kiss your ring. Oh, there you go. The guy who owns Analog Productions owns the best Led Zeppelin master plates. Oh. And what's he going to do with those? Yeah. We can't do much with them because, I mean, I, now I guess, you know, I mean, I read the whole thing with the Taylor Swift case is that, you know, after seven years, you, you have the right to go make your own masters. That's yeah. why she did it. Mm -hmm. You know, so now she's replacing all, you know, obviously Spotify drops the, the original ones, put hers up. Yeah. And it's, you know, that's what they're going to do. Artists are going to do that from now on yeah. to get their rights to their masters back. Well, good for them, though. Yeah, good for they them. They deserve it. I agree. 
Yeah, it's time the artists uh, made some money. I see the U.S. Uh, now. I hate to get into politics, but there looks like they're moving ahead with some kind of ticket pricing policies. Oh, good. The bill has been put forward to whoever, the Senate or the House or something to look at now. So that that's, needs to happen here and in Canada. Yeah, it does. It's it's out it's outrageous. They've how just the prices get, yeah. That's all they've done. Yeah. So you see the original price. You know, when you look at like the artist page and you see the tour dates, you can see original pricing sometimes. And then you go to Ticketmaster. Yeah. After after you, they're all taken up, you try to get tickets or whatever, and it's yeah. it's at least three times as much. Yeah. At least. I'm telling you, I'm of the opinion that you're not allowed to buy more than two tickets. I don't care if you've got a family of 10, too fucking bad. Yeah. Excuse my language. It's really passionate about this. I, I Two tickets, that's it. Yes, I like Dread Zeppelin. Yep. Even yeah, though I don't cool. like Elvis Presley, I do like that band. <laughs> I, think it, I think it's funny. The Hollowed Ween. Yes. Happy I'm birthday, Mr. St. John. Is it his birthday? I don't know. Is it? Thanks, but it's not my birthday. <laughs> oh. Oh, my outdoor cat lived up to 22 years old. Man, that guy looks familiar. He does. Wow. He looks like Billy Shears. I had three indoor cats that lived to 19 and one outdoor cat to live to 20. Hmm. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, my last, I, I have a, 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 a premature, a cat that was premature, a runt. She is 14. She actually turned into a very healthy cat you know and uh then i had one murphy he was an outdoor cat it wasn't that he died of he didn't die like naturally he died of injuries because he would go pick fights with the biggest animals <laughs> he was an idiot i mean he picked fights with raccoons and dogs that was similar come to glenn house. wanting to pick fights i was just yeah. gonna say that like, about you I was say, that sounds like, I was like what do you do? And we knew we knew his time was limited. We're like, oh, yeah, he's going to pick the wrong fight, and his yeah. injuries are just not going to. Don't gonna don't go to to a bar with Glenn. Who wants to fight me? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I'm all about peace and love, man. Uh, I'd like to be a certified goofball myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like goofball. Goofball. Sounds better. It seems like there's too much work in general. I've not there. I've not seen Mastin Anonymous. Is it available on YouTube, Sam, or? Hmm. Hey, nice. I like it. Network is going Network. in TC on Wednesday evening, at least in the U.S. Oh, interesting. Nice. I Yeah, I got Turner Classic Movies on my HBO subscription, so. I think there no, is laws doesn't. now in a lot of places. Like, you can't let your cat outside. No, you know what? I, I would like my cats to stay alive because there's coyotes there. They would be yeah. killed. Not yeah. only that, coyotes. Yeah. And fleas, bringing in fleas. Big so, coyote problems. Tick. Not bordering tick, on Tick eggs all over the freaking place. Like, just, I, I don't think my, my cat middens is suffering. So. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I mean, I know like here in Maine, it's like for dogs, it's you have to keep them on a leash or you have to have verbal control. Yeah. And so because I've been walking down my street and like cops will come down and stuff and they'll kind of slow down. And if they see immediately I have control of my dog just by you know calling him over and he'll sit right next to the vehicle, they'll, they won't say anything. But that's the deal. Completely agreed. Were you the tub full of beer? Winner, winner, liquid. Muffin dinner. <laughs> muffin, muffin, <laughs> muffin dinner. Awesome. Zeppelin Classic Records versions came out in 2005, and now the owner has the plates in storage. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Uh, okay. Ticketmaster has, yeah, yeah. no doubt about that. Sure do. And Live Nation, the same thing, right? Slash. No argument there. An extension of sesquipedalian and using a modified form of hippopotamus and Latin monstrum. Now wow. that sounds exactly like a See, album review on the channel. You should like have that. you should have your own uh, album review. Yeah, channel. that sounded like. <laughs> well, yeah, thirty year old parents can live to be like a hundred, right? Yeah. You got to pass them down to generations. That's because parrots just they talk crap to everybody. Yeah. 
yeah, I wanted wanted to mention. I know. Uh, yeah, they don't keep anything inside. They have no stress. Yeah. <laughs> for for our album exchanges, we're doing. I like it that Morris Gotro and uh, Pal, better known as Gene, they're playing along, right? I love they, that. They too. pick two albums too, and they just write it in the comments. Yeah, it's been so. awesome. Really oh, good. Nice. Thank you. That's yeah. really cool. We I like that. that support very much. I am so, an IGG international good guy. Cool. Yes, Brian. No, I was saying, uh, so they pick one of the albums that you guys suggested and then they, they write the written version of the review. Yeah, they've been writing comments. their comments. Yeah. Uh, their, yeah. That's, it. That's interesting. I like that. I'm having trouble connecting. Would you stop? Of- <laughs> <laughs> You've had that issue for I know. <laughs> it's, my, it's my sound bar on my TV. <laughs> Are you trying to get Siri to talk dirty to you again, Glenn? <laughs> yeah. It's all messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Glenn. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Siri. <laughs> Put on your clothes. Jeez. Yeah. I wonder if there is some kind of a warped individual out there who's in love with Siri. That'd be interesting. Yes, Bar Harbor is very, very pretty, but it's also a very expensive um, place to live if you actually live down there. Very expensive. Actually, pal, Larry stays inside, too. <laughs> I do. Well, <laughs> I could get hit by a car. Me, too. Or, or bring safe. fleas yeah. in here. It's safe inside. I, I agree. <laughs> Nothing. My wife and I have this uh, uh, slogan we go by, nothing good ever happens outdoors. No. Like, we're, we're just not beach people. No. No. Next summer, no. Glenn, you and I should make a video going to the going beach. to the beach. Yeah, yeah. I say the same thing to my doctor when I got I got this little skin cancers on my legs and stuff. I go, you know, I I, I say, look at me, doc. Does it look like I spend time <laughs> outdoors? I am pale, white, and pasty. <laughs> <laughs> Just I, I don't get any time in the sun. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, we had a cat that showed up at our door one day, had her for eight years, and couldn't keep her inside. Yeah, finally a, a coyote got a hold of her. Oh, that's awful! What a way oh, to go! Man. I what would have that? thought being in Florida, John would have said that alligator got her. But and look who it is! Speaking of the devil, it's Morris. Hey, Morris. Hey, cool. People. I wish I could join you, but I got to leave for work in a half hour. And yes, I love playing along with the CD exchange. Thank you, Morris. That's very cool. I that like is a really cool. Morris. That's a cool uh, fo- photo or whatever. Yeah. Morris. And did. you see that guy, uh, his name there, Morris Gotro. Uh, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, okay. Please subscribe to that man's channel. Yeah. Subscribe to Morris. He's a good What's guy. It? What does what does Morris have on his channel? What types of things? Music. He talks mainly Just about music. music. Okay, we talk a bit about personal craft that goes. And on he's a Sparks like. fan. Oh yeah, so so don't subscribe to his channel. Is, is he a Ween fan? I mean, oh, that yeah. might do. That might push it over the edge. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, he does like Ween. Yeah. Oh, good. Then I, oh, I'll yeah. check out his channel. My apologies for suggesting his channel. Glenn, <laughs> have you ever had a pet parrot? No. Yeah. No. No, I have not. It's like the phone woman from Seinfeld. But what about the driver? Yeah. But what about the driver? <laughs> Thanks, Morris. Yeah. Hog and Doss and squash. No. For a. For Hog and Doss is ice cream. No. What squash uh, and squash? The the yeah. actual yeah and there's actual squash squash. He's talking mixed with sounds it. Like, sounds like a. Craving for a pregnant woman for a, a meal? Ice cream and, and, squash. and squash for a meal that doesn't even sound right. No, Where'd those hog and dot ice cream things are worth a, like they're, they're like premium ice cream bars are worth like about 20 bucks or something. They're yeah. ridiculous. You're not really camping in Maine unless you go north of Bangor. I live in Caribou, which is two and a half hours north of Bangor. Two and a half hours. So, in other words, like, like I always say, 90% of the population of Canada is below me south of me <laughs> it is safer inside i agree yeah yeah sun is frightening, sun Everything, is frightening. everything's frightening outside the bugs the sun people it's, it's, isn't that on bench warmers isn't like one of the characters in bench warmers afraid of the sun <laughs> he was like oh it's a mystical orb <laughs> <laughs> i do not know the band area code 615 is there anybody 
uh, well known in the bluegrass world in it or i'm writing it down I, i've heard of them they, they were three, around three, in the one five late why six one five where's six one five at i don't know they're like uh really good studio musicians or something from what i remember we're gonna find out shortly yep absolutely i got Breaking it down leaves well that's yeah i guess out west you can still do that yeah here it's been raining I, will, one day. I will get me into a band i probably would never consider getting into yeah i've got bands to suggest to you morse i would say the the rumors era tusk is my I favorite. like I, I like the early yeah. Fleetwood Mac, the blues band myself, but I like yeah, I like Rumors is, era is, is the best, I in my opinion. But it, still, I was very surprised by like Bear Trees, you know, and Mystery to Me. Uh, out, you know, I thought those were all great too, and but they were different. You just you know you have to appreciate yeah. them for being what they were. They were a different sound. And what's interesting and really cool is the fact that no matter how dramatic the changes were in the band. They were, they were all good quality bands. Like it's, they never had a bad one. It just never seemed like they did. No. It, it took them maybe all the way until like the early nineties, put out a bad album. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. Mick <laughs> Fleetwood and John McVie, they knew how to put a band together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to probably buy the band on the run 50th. It's Somebody really said that the, the vinyl for that is 130 some dollars. That's insane. <laughs> he brought brought home a straw. We were so proud. Is that why you lock your cats up? They have they may have a short but full life. My cat isn't locked up. My cat has lots of freedom. He gets more yeah. yard time. I, I'm gonna get this prison. this guy. I'm gonna get this Bill Sharkey on the live chat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do one on cats and get him on there. Cat yeah. ver indoor versus outdoor cats. No, you, but, you versus uh, Bill. Bill, you ignorant slut. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, have you ever been blocked on YouTube? I'm just wondering. <laughs> Did you watch any of the Saturday Night Live this week with Adam Driver as the host? I don't watch. Well, he he is a he makes the show so much better because he's an actual host that commits to the bits and he you know he was not afraid to humiliate himself and some of the skits are just laugh out they're going to be classic skits when they're done oh really laugh out loud funny i wow. laugh so hard i'll have to try and stuff. find the replay of that yeah right yeah find it it's very very good he did a great job See, that's the problem they never get actors on there by and large they get musicians to be the host See, musicians that's don't have any comedic timing that's the thing about the U.S. It's so lawless. You can let your cats run wild. Up here, we have rules. You can't just the humane yeah. society will come and pick it up and take it to a shelter, and yeah. you'll never see it again. We, we're not allowed to let cats roam. Yeah, I can't just let my cat run wild here either, guys. I mean, it, it's northern Maine. I mean, there's ba I got black bears and my come in my yard. Yeah. yeah, you know, I got raccoons everywhere, foxes. You know, I mean, it's it, it's wildlife. I walk yeah. outside, it's wildlife. Yeah. It, I can see you going here, Fido. Come in, hey kids. You okay <laughs> uh, Glenn, maybe you can answer this one. Oh, that's I don't know if that's is that nice. Uh, the, I don't the, parent know nice the parent talks less. Uh, hmm. That's all I know. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't say my favorite Ween song because I've only heard the one album of theirs. So mine's Hey Jude. Very would, Steely dan -esque, the one song, Pandy Fack, Fackler. <laughs> well, Marshall won't like that. Right. I have multiple parrots. They are the best, but a lot of work. Yeah. Are you sure your parrot's just not schizophrenic? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for a replacement. <laughs> what was the old thing? I'm a schizophrenic and so am I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're never alone with a schizophrenic <laughs> morris get to work you're going to be fired right I'm i'll be sticking around and listening in I'm until i need to leave until i'll be re-watching this, be re -watching once this once I get back, back home. home i said blow me when i <laughs> chug a lug my friend i don't know what the, these people are all weird today it's like everybody's 
Nashville was six point okay. five. Ah, so hey, I've been three. to Nashville twice already, guys, and I've got plenty of times to go back. So. Larry's probably right. There probably is a session musician thing with that band. It's very close. Six I bet you they make a lot of money in Nashville being session musicians. Oh God, yeah. If you're good, you can tr usually charge. Uh, wasn't it? I was reading about. Uh, uh, Stuart Copeland was saying how they got Andy Summers. The reason they got Andy Summers in the police was that he was four times the rate for a regular session musician. And <laughs> they said it was cheaper to ask him to join the band yeah. than it would be to ask him to play sessions, session music for him. That's crazy. I was like, that's crazy, but hey, good for them. It's good that Andy Summers decided to do that, right? Bear Trees era. Yep. Very good. Very good album. Does Mr. Kellaway, nobody calls Glenn Mr. Kellaway. That's my dad. I'll see if it, dad, gee, what's your favorite bass player? No. Um, uh, <laughs> Tony Levin is my favorite bass player. King okay. Crimson plays currently playing with Peter Gabriel, I guess, on his current tour. I made a long list of session uh, work with John Lennon and everybody. Man, I mean, I would. I guess I'd have to break mine down in eras because I really, there's like modern ones that I like, you know, like I like Justin Chancellor from tool. I think he's, you know, I know that's progressive metal, but I think he's very good. Um, but you know, then you go with Paul, you go with Paul, yeah. you know, solid, solid bass player. I'm a big fan of tall Wickenfeld too. Do you know her? The, uh, she's, she made her, her name with Jeff Beck. She's, uh, the, oh, you know, you oh, see yeah. all yeah. the hair. Yeah. She's an amazing, I've... amazing musician. She has two solo albums out of herself. One's a singer-songwriter thing where she's just kind of playing and singing her own songs. Another one's like a, you know, a jazz fusion type instrumental album, but so talented. Yep. Future Games, a mystery to me. Yep. Yep. Mystery to me. I mentioned, yep. Oh, cool. There's another band too. Um, I mean, this is. I mean, they're not the same as these guys, obviously. But you ever no, see a band called that. Here Come Here Come the Mummies? Yeah. And, and now they they do that little bit where they they're all dressed up like mummies, and they, when they perform their songs, and they're all very highly sexual. The all the album. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But evidently, but they're all actual Grammy winning musicians. They're mostly set musicians, but they're Grammy winning guys that have won, you know, a ton of awards and that nobody just knows who they are because they wear the mummy makeup. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. And uh, it's hilarious. I mean, it, the songs are just, they're fun. You know, it's just meant to be fun and not taken seriously. And I, I think they're interesting to watch all the time. So that's fun. I play all three of those instruments. At the trombone same time. Number, trombone is my number one instrument. He, he's, the, he's the Bob Dylan of trombones, guys. <laughs> Uh, the Stampeders, they are a great Canadian band. Yes. Yeah. Lots of Should have been a lady. Should have yeah. been all right. No, that's April Wine, Glenn. Oh, is it? Oh, <laughs> Jeez. Sweet, sweet city woman. Oh, that one. That's yeah. the Stampeders. <laughs> My favorite Deep Purple song is Burn. April's a great Mine song. is, you know, as, that. that's, yeah, I. it is. Mine's on Burn. Is it? What is that first song on Burn? It goes fade away tomorrow. Da, da, oh yeah, da, 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 da. remember that song by them? Mm -hmm. That's like my favorite song by Deep Purple. Da, 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 I love April. What a beautiful song that is, off of yep. the self-titled "Mystery to Me." Hypnotize a great song. Very good song. Do you remember that album that the? Uh, the Pointer Sisters did the cover album. Well, they the one hit they had the Springsteen song Fire. Yes, I do remember. And, they had I that remember album. and I, I've been looking for that forever because that was a great covers album. They did hypnotized on there and they did a great version of it. And they did another Bob Wells song on there too. I can't remember. That was a really cool album, actually, for a band that I really wouldn't be interested in. Otherwise, yeah, you wouldn't be interested in yeah. otherwise, right? Yeah. Jason, I, ha I haven't had a chance to listen to that yet, but that's my uh, pick for the week to review Paris. So that's how Jason Isbell said that's how he knew it as a musician was that he went to a Bruce Springsteen concert and Bruce Springsteen did one of his songs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, it, and he's like, he goes, and I didn't tell him I was coming or I was going to be in the crowd and he played one of my songs. Oh, that's he's like, so I, he said, I knew right then. He goes, I made it. No, who cares sure. about record sales? 
none of that stuff. I made it. Bruce covered a song. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wild Eyes, great song. From the Stampeders, huh? We used to let our cats run wild, but yeah. Yeah, we did too. It was a different time back then. Yeah. But we did too. And I still remember my mom when I was a little kid at 11 o'clock at night before she went to bed, she would have to go out and call the cat in. Yeah. And she would have this like a Tarzan fucking yell. Excuse my language. I'm using the F word a lot today. You'd be like, a lot like everyone else on earth would be out of breath. And the whole neighborhood, I'd be going, oh, this is Yeah. My my, I had an aunt that could whistle so loud it could wake up an apartment complex. <laughs> you know, you, you ever had those people who just like they would put their fingers in their mouth and they would and they would whistle so loud as like you know, families were turning on their lights like from two blocks away and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we all love Creedence Clearwater yeah, Revival. You know, I don't know. I don't. I can't see how anybody could dislike a band like that. You know, I don't see how either. <laughs> yeah. They've made such interesting music. They had that good psychedelic debut album that was, yeah. that was really good. It's yeah. hard to believe they're from that San Francisco area, Squire. isn't it? Like you think, of, you know, I mean, they can't right away. Everybody thought Louisiana or something. right, and they're yeah. from Bakersfield, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like from oh, Bakersfield, that, yeah, that's as far away from Louisiana as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> and Steve, don't forget Mel Shocker from Grand Funk Railroad. Great, I love his sound. Baseball. He's great baseball. Yeah. Oh my lady, that was a really oh, nice. Oh my song. lady by the Stan Peters, oh, best Canadian lady. song ever. Okay, so I can default to you guys. What do you guys think is the best Canadian song ever? Best Canadian song ever. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was well, an American right. woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say something by the guess who probably like uh on uh, what was there not undone but the we'll other share thing. the glass these thing eyes. Or... i would say these eyes that yeah, was pretty right, big yeah. I, I thought they're in i thought they're one that was kind of mixed together the uh, no sugar tonight yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big one. And uh, the other song that was kind of blended together that made it a yep. longer track. I thought that was very good. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Bill Haley, right about, about these eyes. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. It is just okay. fantastic. I still haven't listened to that yet. Oh, it's so good. If you like Peter Gabriel, you'll I love. love I love, love Peter it. Gabriel. Yeah. You'll love it. Painted Ladies. Painted Ladies by Ian Thomas. Okay. Well, Sam's back. I'm back. What do you like? Larry yeah, King I'm there? <laughs> I'm back oh, and I have oh, a guest. Looks like a monster, <laughs> like a monster on base. Yeah, she is uh, a monster on base. No, don't know. Egberto <laughs> Gismonte. Egg, Egberto Gismonte. Nope. Morse Code Transition is another. Country rock experimentation band. I kind of I like that. All right. Tall is also very pretty. Yep, I oh, like the monks. The monks. I have yep. their album. Yep, I have that. But album. I, Bill, if you like the monks, be careful because they let their cats. They keep them indoors. I've heard. <laughs> that. Yeah. They have indoor cats. <laughs> Kentucky Woman, the Deep Purple's cover of Kentucky Woman. What are your thoughts on Fountains of Wayne? I, I only know like two songs by Fountains yeah, me of Wayne. Too. I can't, yeah. you know, and one of them, Stacy's Mom, which was really popular here in the States. Yeah, I, I don't have, I can't comment, but I, I certainly don't have anything bad to say. Yeah. This guy loves to ask me questions. Making dreams. What Nobody is, asks me questions. Which is great. Like making dreams <laughs> come true in life, such as a piece. Well, I've never made any of my dreams come true. I've been a loser. Well, you've years. met me, Glenn. I met Larry. Yeah. <laughs> and don't ask me about prosperous because I'm far from that. Uh, uh, negativity, I can talk about. Hang around with positive people. Dream career and, and how to meet the right one. At work, stay away from the complainers and the whiners, and stay on the positive side. And how to meet the right wife. 
Well, you're not going to meet it by swiping right. That's really? definitely what? true. These are tough questions. Uh, <laughs> throw that out. <laughs> if you have to swipe right, you're not you're not going to meet her. Buddy, I was married twice. I had uh, I have no money, and uh, I live I stay in my basement all the time. <laughs> and my friend is Larry Graves. Like, what do you want? Sorry, I'm pretty so much to lose. I'm not my state of North Carolina. <laughs> Sail away. Thank you. Thank you, Rare Record Collector. I appreciate it. That was the song right there, guys. Sail yeah. away. It was the one I like. Oh, come on. My favorite groups, Jamie. Wow. Does have Phil Spector produced heard it. Star Sailor album. Star Sailor's Tim Buckley, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's Tim Buckley album. I've, I think I'm listening. Totally foreign to that. Yes, who doesn't respect Alanis Morissette? I like her. I think she's Boy, very she had good. a monster freaking record. I'll tell you that. Yeah, she's that jagged little that, that jagged little pill almost sold like forty million copies. She's been living off that, and she still does it. She just remakes it and tours it again. And like yeah. she, well, you know. I, what's Taylor Hawkins was her drummer for a long time. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know that from Foo no. Fighters. Yeah, he was her drummer. Yeah, he left yeah. to go to the Foo Fighters. Oh. That kind of broke her heart in a lot of oh. ways. She was wow, very Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. Thank you, Ken Domic Reaction Channel. Five dollars. I have to split three ways. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you split five dollars three ways? Music experts. Well, except for Glenn. <laughs> he's... So it's he one dollar and sixty-seven cents. Yeah, but I know point. about picking the right wife and and prosperity and got living a peaceful existence. He's got it there. I mean, that's it's, more important. I mean, Glenn's so good about about you know wives that I I went ahead and told him we could have mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like this one. What was Glenn's mom's call to get him to come in? <laughs> yeah. Glenn, what was it? Uh, I don't know what the hell that would have been. See, my, my mom went through every, every other kid in the house. I was the last. So it was like, if you go way, Jeff, David, Brian, <laughs> it was just she'd go through all the names. Of course you'd get to mine. So, uh, Lord almighty help us. We all, all cats now. <laughs> yeah. Bill's. I can see Bill walking back and forth in front of City Hall now as we're talking. We got them all fired up. Edmund. Yeah, yeah. The Stampeders was a lousy name because everybody would think of the Calgary Stamp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bands like like some bands just don't like. I always thought like great Canadian band, one of the best ever, Blue Rodeo. Yeah, they I are always very thought good. They didn't make it because they of the name. Good. Country, right? It sounds like it country. sounds like a country band, and people ignore it. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I saw that video, Morris. Yep. Cat, you know, cats that are outside, they struggle, you know, like, but I kind of want to get away from that subject. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wow. That's deep. some weird thing for here for me. Wow. That's deep. Harvest Moon, yeah. Gordo, who's Gordo? That's a oh, good one for oh, for the greatest oh, Canadian one. song. If you could read my mind. Well, I yeah, thought you I was going to say yeah, Canadian Railroad Trilogy. Yeah, that was going to be my pick for favorite Canadian song, actually. Yeah, I think you're on to something with, with maybe being Gordon Lightfoot a song. Maybe, I, yeah, I would say it, that or Sundown by him, like yeah. one of my favorite. Um. Tragic, you know, I, I could pick a song by the Tragically Hip, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, me too. I thought about that too. Wheat Kings, maybe. Mm -hmm. Wheat Kings is awesome. He, he's he's not, you know, his solo career career. I didn't have any interest in, but he's definitely a talented drummer. And... I was a big fan at the time of his solo stuff. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. I, Face Value was a great album. I thought, and uh, it was good. Yeah. Um, then anybody had no jacket required was a huge commercial success. Yeah. He didn't. He started doing a lot of soundtracks for Disney and yeah, and he know, started very, and yeah, very safe, very safe albums. I will. Yeah. I'll call them. I, I'll call them that. I agree. Yeah. Yep. 
Clap for the Wolf Man. Yeah, they were fun songs. Yeah. I think that made one of my uh, uh, build the perfect album. I had, I think I had that song on one of the. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. When we had them on our series. Yeah. Loving you is easy. So Bob, uh, while you're watching, have you listened, have you heard that uh, trans Canada? I got to grab it. Hold on. Yeah. Trans Canadian. Highway. Highway men, right? Oh, I don't know where that was. I can't find it. I don't know what I do with it. <laughs> Just Trans keep Canada looking for it, Glenn. Trans Canada Highwaymen. Anyway, it's an interesting album if you want to hear old Canadian standards redone. I think you left it under your uh, your uh, mat your remastered version of Ween's Quebec. I might have put. I might yeah, have it's. Filed it. <laughs> I, filed, I put it with the dust collectors. Yeah, it's in his now playing section. Yeah. <laughs> now not playing. Well, that's where I thought it was. That's where I thought I could grab it fast, but I must have refiled it. Yeah. Actually, we caught all of the basement tapes, believe it or not, Bob, and the band stole it. Yes. <laughs> Lightfoot was a god, yeah. He was a very good songwriter. Some Larry people. or Glenn? No, not Glenn, me. You need to suggest an off kilter off kilter Zappa see, album for the that's, next that's, album. See, exchange. this is where the album exchange gets me because yeah. I'm afraid. Like, I would love to. I would. There's so many albums that I would love to bring out and say you got to listen to this, but no one would take them. You gave me that Zappa album the last time. That's mostly music. What? Yeah. That album that you suggested to me. You know, What's it's only like five tracks on there. I'm trying to remember the name oh, of it. Waka Jawaka or, uh, or uh, no. Grand Wazoo or Grand Wazoo. There, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Did you was, like it? It? the first track? Yeah, I liked it a lot. The first track was like 13 minutes long, yeah. and it was just it was just music. Yeah, it was, it was very good. Very a lot good. of stuffs like that. Yeah. See, yeah. I, that's why I liked Hot Rats more yeah. than I liked some of the other albums that he had. You know. Yeah. I'm just afraid if I bring albums like that to the exchange, people would no one would take them. Larry would. I would do it, but see, let David Grohl pull Taylor away from Alanis, right, Glenn? Yeah, yeah. Well, well I mean, you know, exposure. It came down to exposure, and you know, well, money uh, for sure. Yeah. Completely agreed. Sundown, wreck of the end, Fitzgerald. Yep. Yeah. Hey, a heavy song. Buffalo Springfield. I never yeah, really got absolutely. into it. So Buffalo Springfield is for what it's worth. Is that? Yeah. Billy, how can you beat those? So everybody make sure you check out Glenn's latest video on Sam St. John. It's just over a minute long. It's in the pinned comment there. And, and, Steve, also... and Steve at all the world's estates. Watch his first. Yeah. And yeah. Steve from All the Worlds of Stage. And make sure you check out my latest album exchange with Glenn Calloway and everybody else. It's on my front page. Thank you. Perfect. Boom. Larry takes the biggest cut. That's right. Are great. They're still a good band. They're still out there touring and everything. So I'm from Detroit. Me, I've always had affinity for Canadian musicians. Oops. Yeah. Let's take my. What is GSD? It's Nate Walk and some, some cat, cat hunting. hunting. Best wishes from, from the U Oh, Billy's from the UK. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah, bless those food Chinese food cooks' hearts. So it was a god on selling England. That's not a bad album. Selling England by the pound. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, he was just a mo he he had a like his career when he was on top was just unbelievable. He owned the world, that guy, for a while. Well, yeah. He bounced he bounced back and forth to do a Genesis album, then a solo album. And yeah. Genesis, it's like he, he was even acting in movies. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah. He had the uh, soundtrack Against All Odds, which was a mega hit for him here in the States. I don't know about yeah. Canada. Yeah, it, it was, was huge. Yeah. Huge, yeah. Out, the movie was huge. The, the album was huge. It's just like, ah. Oh. We haven't had a Beatles convention for quite some time, but we used to have them quite often. I wish they would bring another one back because they're fun. 
I met a lot of cool, uh, cool beetle people at those things. Like I like this. No score is better than a two out of ten. Yeah, check my latest video for because one of the album reviews got a two out of ten. Yeah. Two out of ten. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Geez, I mean, if you show if you show up and you can actually, I even gave the shags like you know a six and a half. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we're t it's a tough it's a tough crowd. Wow. We had that. joy, we had fun, we, we had, had birds on the <laughs> Yeah, our great. Yeah, seasons in the sun. That was uh Billy Jerry J Jacks. Jerry Jacks. Yeah, it was a one hit wonder, right? He was a one hit wonder dude, right? I Harry? like Dave Edmonds. Yes. Dave Clark, five. Yeah. Yes. David Grohl, no. Dave, Dave Brubeck, Brubeck, yes. Brubeck, yes. Three out of four Daves. Phil was great as Ernest T. Bass. Yeah, on Andy Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a band that you can call yourself a fan of but one album doesn't click with you yeah hmm. yeah probably I mean, almost you. every every band who would that be name one for me yeah uh i mean rem's al album uh around the sun absolutely I hate every track on there it's like one of their last ones after bill barry became uh ill and and, and quit oh. the band okay that's a good pick um, rem they, just, uh, they never were the same. I mean, you lose a piece of your band. It's it's yeah. difficult to keep going. I mean, it's... I'll say the Rolling Stones. Hackney yeah. Diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing out the hate on the Stones. I love it. Love it. That's not a very good album. I'll have to agree with that for sure. Thank you. Man, I'm getting roasted for my viewpoint on that yeah, album. Yeah, well, sometimes... Yeah, I. I you know, I, I've heard of Buffalo Springfield. I, I just never owned any, any of their albums. I have so all their albums. Some of their fantastic. Songs. Yeah. Maybe I should bring one to the CD. I've only, yeah, I've only listened to two of Buffalo. They only two albums I listened to of theirs. Yeah. Glenn, you should promote your channel while you have a chance. Do it. Glenn Kelloway from the basement, uh, creator of Sam St. John theme songs. And. Uh, <laughs> What else? We're just talking about music. I'm doing my year-end reviews right now. I just uploaded my part two today on the box sets that I bought that came out this year. I've done uh, my albums of the year, new releases. I'm going to do the uh, bands and artists and albums that I listen to the most in 2023. And um, bands that I discovered or rediscovered in 2023. Mm -hmm. And Brian, on your channel? On my channel, see, well, my channel, it took over for the Siskel and Ebert. They actually uh, decided they weren't ever going to do stuff again. Wow. And they, they went ahead and gave me their business. But I that retitled cool. it Matthew's Main <laughs> Entertainments. And we do, we're just in the middle of doing our movie review series for each year from 65 to 79 for now. And then we're going to pick up uh, because we, we already filled in from 80 to 99. We're going to pick up in 2000 and, and get to the present uh, and also doing a top 10 uh, movies for each director that every once in a while. So we're on Clint Eastwood. We've done Quentin Tarantino and the Coen brothers and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just everybody fun. subscribe. Yeah. Come hang out. Give us your top 10, your top five. It's kind of fun. I need to add that song. The beginning of my videos. Ha ha. Yeah. Please do, Sam. But you got to use a montage, Sam, of you getting your hair, you know, dried and you know, and all made up and you know, stuff like you got to do that and add some spice to it, you know. Thanks, uh, Steve. You inspired it, buddy. Who is the best member of a band who did a solo album without leaving the band? Without leaving the band. Uh. Wow. That's a good one. Wow. That is a good one. Mm -hmm. That is good. You got to really think hard on that, huh? I'm good. You know, I don't know. I mean. Wow. Great question. I mean, Tom York did a lot of solo material and he was still with Radiohead. He never broke with them. A lot of soundtrack stuff from both him and Johnny Greenwood. Everybody I can think of is already was have not in the band anymore. Like any of the good albums, like you could name Mick Jagger's album, but that's they suck. 
Yeah, all his solo stuff wasn't very good. Richard's album, uh, Talk is Cheap, I really liked. Really? Yeah, I'm hmm. a fan of that album. Man, I'm having a really hard time. Yeah, we do need to collaborate there. Sam, I miss uh, hanging out with you, bud. My God, that's a great question. Yeah, Keith Moon. <laughs> Keith Moon. Yeah, John Anderson, <laughs> that's a good one. Steve Hack, uh, his first solo album. He was, was he still, still with Genesis, Genesis when he did that? So. Yeah, that's a good uh, answer. Steve says face value. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, he may be on. He that's may be right. On. How about John Anderson or Chris Squire? Yeah. They were still in yeah, Nats. The water is good. Yeah. Robert Fripp was still doing solo stuff, too, with, uh, but he was still with King Crimson's. You know, I mean. Yeah, but he was King Crimson. A lot of times they weren't really a formal yeah. band at the time. Like Later even now, that like you can say King Crimson, but they don't really exist right now. So what about Brian Eno? Great one. Rocky Rocky music. There's right my on. number one. Right there, Sam. Yeah, Rod Stewart. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Eddie Vedder. Eddie Vedder. True. But I don't like his solo stuff very much. But really, we like his solo yeah, stuff. We do. Like really, you do? Yeah. 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 The Earthling. Did you listen to the Earthling? Is that any good? No. I haven't heard that one though. Two virgins. Two virgins. What's your What's your favorite prog rock album of the year, twenty twenty three? I don't know if I have one. Well, I, prog since I don't rock know any. any I only know one. Of twenty, and that would be Stephen Wilson's album. So like going with that. Hmm, I don't I don't think I have one for prog rock this year. Yeah. And not in my top 25. And I put that up on YouTube. Not YouTube, but uh Facebook. Larry, if you could hang out with Sparks for an afternoon or Sir Paul, who would you choose and why? Paul McCartney, because he's the greatest artist of all time for me. Or I'd like to hang out with Santana, you know. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. French vinyl addict, greetings from Montreal. Oh, hey, hey FBA. Montreal. Great dude, man. I've only been to Montreal twice, and both times he was just landing in their airport to go overseas. Oh, Montreal is such a great city. You should go visit. You're not that far, I don't think, are you? No, not really. Oh, yeah, you should go for a weekend. You should go I can get the, the, I can get to Quebec a lot quicker. Sam's obviously. leaving. Bye, Sam. Bye, Sam. Take care, Sam. Hit me, hit me up later, Sam. Sam St. John in the hair salon, everyone. Check it out. Sub his channel. Are my chats being seen? Yes. I might, you know, I apologize as always. Sometimes, you know, I'll miss a comment, but not on purpose. Sometimes not on purpose. Unless it's more cat talk. <laughs> <laughs> abuse, cat abuse talk. Yeah. We need more of that. So if we had a if we had a whole segment about cats being abused by sports <laughs> figures, Larry would love yeah. it. We need a whole, <laughs> yeah, whole yeah. hour dedicated to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fantastic Eddie Vedder solo albums. Yeah, we just all reviewed one on our album exchange. Uh, in what's it called? Into the Wind. Into the Wind. Called? Into the Wild. Into the Wild. Into the Wild. Yeah, right. it's a really good album. There's a guy that he he was borderline just going to quit music. Really? He just I mean after 10 he did not want to be a megastar. He, he oh. didn't want to be one. I love Manic Street Preachers uh you know. Yeah. That's that's their album is Everything Must Pass. No, not yeah. everything. Yeah, that is a great I've never listened to them. Great album. What kind of music is that? It's a uh, Britpop. Yeah? Yeah. But it's good Britpop. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not the watered down yeah. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Huh. You know, it's another note. I'd rather listen to the Shags than Eddie Vedder. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I mean, I just I like his solo stuff because it's more like a uh, Americana, folky kind of stuff. I don't, I, I Pearl Jam just doesn't do it for me at all. Redneck Canadian is a great album. Thank, yeah. thank you, Bob. Classic. Glenn, Glenn, the, Gary made me review that one. Yeah, and it was number five out of the five albums yeah. we were ranking. Who's this? And the other four were Ween albums. <laughs> They're excellent. All those Ween albums are excellent. You hate on them too much. Yeah. 
Welsh pop. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes, they are. And I hope it's I hope I'm not hearing it right how expensive it is because I really want to buy it. What do you mean, Massey? What about what about I what? Know. I don't know. What, what do you mean, Brian? I don't know. <laughs> uh well, James Watson is crazy. No I'll idea. confirm that. Larry, are you sad? Yes, I am. Oh, <laughs> Larry, are you sad we are never going to get a wings reunion? I don't think no. we were going to get one anyway. No. So it's just sad he passed away. Yeah. Any lane, but Hmm. Yep. Yep. Somebody said, who, where did they say that the other day that I heard that uh, when they recorded Band on the Run that uh, uh, Denny Lane was offered a percentage of the album sales or uh, or just a salary and he took the salary? Wow. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine what a bad uh, financial uh, move that was? Yeah, and then you have the, the, the smart ones uh, like Alec Guinness took 5% of Star Wars instead of taking a salary. What a smart move that was. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Kanye's cover of several species is different or would be. I yeah, can't I, do Kanye West. I'm sorry. Kanye West is a, a talented guy, but he's bad shit crazy. Yeah. I Never think he that. is a snooze fest. Dallas Green and City in Color. Just a sleepiest music ever made and he's he they're pretty big band for you're the one who made me spreadsheets <laughs> <laughs> steve loves his spreadsheets he's doing a spreadsheet for our uh, album exchange and every two days he sends out another i've added another column this one how many times glenn picked his nose on screen and this one is how many times larry farted <laughs> oh my god he keeps coming up with another column wow <laughs> i i mean there's a column for every time marcia rates one of glenn's albums two out of ten i made hey, a you know i looked at the rating she's rated me two out of ten once and you two out of ten once oh yeah okay. two out of ten what did they pick for your two out of ten Glenn? what was it what uh, Daw Dawes. uh what two... The Dawes album, uh, Mrs. It's on today's oh. on my channel. Watch That's the video, <sighs> which I absolutely freaking love. That album, like I, it's one of my I favorite don't albums. Understand? I mean, I like that band a lot. I don't understand. Yeah. And no, yeah. you know, when you're talking about twos, you I mean you got to really start. Like for me, I I'd probably be picking bands that are like noise rock bands and stuff like that. Yeah. When I'm picking twos, there was an album well, by like Faith No More that was really bad. Or something for me. Yeah. Ugh. Even Ween would get better than a two for me if I listen. Yeah, yeah, I've Godspeed. heard Godspeed. I I liked it. It was, yeah. it was I different I, for sure. I, I recommended that uh, F sharp A sharp yeah. album to you, didn't I, Larry? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what? Can somebody tell me what post rock is? Just another genre genre of music. I mean, it's just. You know, genres are stupid after a it's, while. It's, it's almost like the, it's a that one is more like a mis mixture of electronica and ambient and progressive rock. Uh, that's not the closest thing I can say. You take those three things and put them together, and you get kind of that post rock sound. Okay, they take samples from like you know, people talking on the radio and mix it in there, and it's really you know, that's funny. Yeah, take a drink. I'd be hammered if I ever if I did that. No, Dawes is not. They're from, I think they're from California, aren't they? There oh, you go. God. There's another one for you, Glenn. You guys could start a Thanks, fan club. You got two people. Yep. Painted Ladies. Wow. That's oh, cool. Good album. <laughs> that's true, too. Eddie Van Halen never got a penny for his guitar piece on Thriller. Yeah. But no, yeah, they kept, Eddie, Eddie didn't really need the money, and uh, he's he's you know that's something that's going to be on his resume forever. So. And the other thing I think they they talked about that too is is that that is like maybe the twelfth different type of guitar solo he he did because they kept saying it was too hard. They yeah. said just it sounded too much like hard rock, and they they said we want it more tapered down, more R and B ish. I mean, and it's like he just kept having it. I mean, how do you pull back? I you know. 
a guitar solo. You yeah. Can, it's just odd. But that's Quincy Jones for you. Like he's trying to get something yeah. that hasn't been done before, you know. I got some of records, yeah. railroad records during the 24 hour live stream last night. Guess what channel I gave a quick shout out to? Who is this yep. dude who did a 24 hour live stream? George. That is crazy. Gordon yeah. or something. I, I can't even do a two hour live stream. <laughs> I can do it, but I don't know how. I don't I don't think StreamYard would allow me to go on for 24 hours, would they? I don't know how he did it. I don't know if my internet service would be that good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm an hour and 15 minutes in and it started it start going crazy on me. Yeah, Lords of London. Absolutely. Great uh, Canadian band from the 60s. That was a that was a hit. Lords of London were like one of those Yorkville bands. Uh all right. I gotta, I gotta say. take off here, guys. It's a okay, Brian. Thank you. I gotta, for I gotta be by. somewhere at about four thirty, but uh, I really appreciate you guys inviting me on again. Yeah, well, awesome, we do. Oh, everybody, sweet. subscribe to Brian. Yes, that's entertainment. Hey, Great everybody, day. take care out there. All right. Okay. Thanks, Brian. Brian. See you very soon. Okay. Well. Um, so when are you uploading the next video, Larry? Well, Molly's arriving tomorrow morning. Oh, very cool. So, so probably probably tomorrow. Awesome. That's really yeah. cool. How long is she going to stay? Uh, a few days. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. I'm sure you were Ooh, looking look forward at that. to that. Grand Funk was my first concert. Three bucks. Blood Rock opened. Mark had the best hair. He <laughs> did have good hair. I got 58 views on my video so far, Larry. Yeah. You'll get more views, Glenn. Glenn, if you ever hear what Diener was talking about by Ween, you must listen today. There you go. If you never hear what Diener was talking about by Ween, you must listen today. No, I don't. I'm not. <laughs> I am not doing that. You can't make me. Yeah. That is my favorite live album of all time, French. Yeah, it's a great Final live album. Added. I haven't listened to that for a long time. Mr. Wondrous, did you know Larry interviewed Mark? <laughs> well, I'm proud of that. <laughs> you know, it would be like you interviewing. Uh, well, you know. I, I watch. You ever watch Mark Farner's channel? Because he keeps saying I was interviewed by Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's long for. He forgot about me as soon as he was done. It's like I'm out of here. But that video has over ten thousand views, so it's done really well. Yeah, I'll get That's him back. I, when I see a picture of you two together. I always go, oh, "Who's that guy with Larry Graves?" You know, I'll, I'll have him on again, right? And, and Mark will say, "It's it's nice to finally meet you," or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy I don't I don't have a uh, I, I don't know that that guy uh, thinks I have I'm some kind of deep individual and Molly I'm the shallow man in the world don't see, ask Bob never questions. does that with you right he doesn't go Glenn no Two Canadian dishes, fish and chips and poutine. Take oh, your fish and chips. Fish and chips, yeah. Poutine is gross. Sorry. I'm never going to live stream for for even three hours. I would like to attempt a marathon live stream, but I I think, I don't know how, I, I think you'd almost, I don't know how you'd ever do it. If, if I did that for 24 hours, I'd have a little nap on the couch at some point. Yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. Just drink Red Bulls for 24 hours. And... Yeah. Uh, I don't know who Jeffrey Foskett is. No, I don't know. But R.I.P. Brought Brian Wilson back to the stage. Such a shame. Oh. Is Canadian and has never tried poutine. Wow. So for anybody that doesn't know, poutine is French fries, gravy, and... Cheese curds. Yeah. And now I see one of the chains is advertising a poutine and they're putting deep fried pickles in it. 
too. Yeah. So how stupid. gross is that? But you don't like poutine, do you? No. No. Yeah. Don't mess with my fries. You can put gravy on fries, but not cheese. Come on. Do you ever get New York fries? I've had New York fries. Yeah, they're good. Eh? They yeah. are good. Fries with gravy don't need cheese. Yes. Thanks, Bob. Best complimentary duo. duo. Is that like an award we got? <laughs> Jeff Foskett was a touring Beach Boy for decades. Oh. I never poutine. Poutine is delicious. delicious. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, no, I can't do it. You can't, you can't wreck a French fry. Sorry, since I moved to Quebec. Yeah, they have the best poutine. P poutine I, is another way to say it, I guess. Yeah, fish and chips. Is, if you can get a good order of fish and chips, man, that's the best. Go down the East Coast, uh, FBA, go down to PEI or something and get some fish and chips, man, in Canada. Oh. And so, uh, Glenn, let's let's promote what we're doing again. You can tell. Lie, uh, we're doing an album exchange with the great Larry Graves, myself, Marsha P., Steve from All the Worlds of Stage and Chris Levine, I think his last name is. Yep. Who has a, who's a podcaster? I can't remember the name of his podcast. I'm sorry. Refresher Podcast. Refresher yeah. Podcast. He's a great guy, very knowledgeable about music, and an awesome dude to collaborate with. Anyway, we get together every week. We take two albums each. So there's two videos every every week or yeah, so we start we start the first start of it was us presenting two albums each and then all five of us have to pick two albums to review the next week we come back and review them and then pick two more and it just keeps repeating and it is so week. much fun right it is right. awesome it's been great and yeah. we got a great group of people i think the five of us are just perfect because everyone has a different taste in music it's very challenging trying to find something that someone would pick because we're having kind of a little uh, fun contest too to see who who ends up getting the most ranking points and stuff. So it's a bit competitive and uh, and a lot of fun and lots of laughs. Watch. It's, it's must watch YouTube TV. Yeah. So so the video the latest video is on my front channel. It's album review. So please and if you do watch it, please remember to like it and leave a comment. Yeah. And also, Glenn, on your channel, you just posted. Just promote it again. I just posted, well, I'm working on all my uh, reviews of the year, but I just posted before we came on a uh, one-minute song that I wrote for Sam St. John. Just check it out. It's kind of fun. <laughs> and please watch Steve, All the World's a Stage video about Sam. It's yeah. That's what inspired me. It's awesome. And Larry, let's, ra let's rant. Thumbs. What is with people? Like not thumbing, giving thumbs up or thumbs down on the videos. Yeah, I, I don't know. I my my last video had two hundred and sixty some views last time I looked. Thirty thumbs. Yeah, it's two hundred thirty yeah, people it, that don't have the because I I think some people don't don't realize how important it is. If you like a channel, you know. Like if you like Glenn's channel and his videos, I always every channel I watch, I first thing always, I do before I even watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is support so, it. So please remember that anybody watching this, if you watch a video and you like the channel, thumbs up the video. It really does help. Seriously. Thank you. You're gonna get thousands of likes now, Glenn. I hope so. Stop talking about food. You're all making me hungry. Yeah, I didn't snack. I like when Larry invites me in a live chat in the afternoon because I don't snack. <laughs> I'd, I'd be halfway into a bag of chips by now if it wasn't for you, Larry. Yeah, fish and chips. Frozen lasagna for dinner. Roger Water would take credit for the whole thing. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Going to check your song out, Glenn. Oh, oh. Please, Bob. Remember Sing to thumbs up the video. Your head, I'm telling Bob. you. Sam St. John in the hair salon. Once you start, you see it, you won't be able to get the tune out of your head. <laughs> yeah. A pin. Where is it? Um, I There should be a pinned comment if you go up to the top. And you should be able to click on it. Or it's just on Glenn Calloway's channel. Just put yeah. in Glenn Calloway in the YouTube search and you'll find it. 
And speaking of thumbs, you don't have to give a thumbs up. A thumbs down is to thumbs you. Thumbs down. Too. Thumbs down the video if you don't like them. Yeah. That still helps, actually. Always do. Thank you. And live chats. Remember to thumbs up the live chats. Yes. Thank you. Thumbs up or down. Whatever you want. <laughs> or sideways. Yeah. Yeah. You can't hitchhike without your thumb. No. Well, how, how can you watch a video without your thumb? Burgers for supper. That oh, sounds oh, good. Oh. We're having pasta tonight. Changes my thumbs up to a thumbs down. Well, That's there fine. we go. That's, That's good. That's fine. Thank you. That works. Yeah. We have very thick skin. We don't care. Yeah. So I guess that's about it. I'm getting Well, hungry. thanks, Larry, for doing this. Now I'm going to listen to music for a bit. What are you going to listen to? I just picked up a Canadian artist by the name of Matt Mays. Uh, Rob at Northern Revolutions always uh, talks about You know about what? Him. Morris, he's one of my patrons, right? And he's uh, requested a couple of songs by him. And so I picked up good. one of his albums at uh, the thrift store the other day. I haven't yep. had a chance to listen to it yet. So I'm that's what I'm gonna put on as soon as I finish here. Yep. Take a drink every time Larry talks about thumbs up in a video because that's getting annoying as well. Well, oh, it, well. you know, if if it's we it would we wouldn't talk about it if you just use your damn thumb. Listen to Hackney Diamonds, Glenn. It's great. I'm not uh, it sucks. Stop it. It's a dust collector. Thank you, Bob. Uh thank you, Glenn. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Larry. you have a great day. Hey, Say bye, everyone. Molly. Say hi to Molly for me. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Take care.